everybody and welcome back to Danielle Ability. Today we are in my kitchen and I thought I would show you guys how I get around my kitchen and how I cook and all of those different things. I did another video a couple years ago on how I navigate my kitchen, but I've changed things around a little bit, so I thought I would show you guys what I've changed to make it a little bit easier. When I did the other video, I was actually living with my sister at the time, so we kind of split the kitchen into ways that was convenient for both of us, but she moved out a couple weeks ago, and so I've rearranged things a little bit to make it just completely accessible for me since I'm the only person living here and I'm the only one that needs to worry about being able to reach things. So I thought I would just give you guys a quick tour of how I have things set up. One of the biggest changes that I made is I took everything out of the high cabinets in my kitchen. So you can see here, these are all basically empty except for the very bottom shelf. Uh, that I can still reach and I just put things up there that I don't need very often. So I have my crock pot up here and some muffin tins, that kind of thing. Uh, but other than that, all the top shelves are totally empty. So now instead of having my plates and everything on the shelves in the high cabinets, I actually just have everything in this little turnaround cabinet here. So I have all my bowls and glasses and plates and everything in here. All my Tupperware is down at the bottom. So I just tried to downsize things a little bit and then make it obviously a lot easier for me to reach things. This is my pot rack where I have all of my pots and pans and skillets and things. And they are just in a really good position for me to be able to reach them pretty easily and get them down. And then I also have all of my coffee and tea and everything set up on this table here just to make it convenient and just get it off of the counter so there's more counter space, but also have it in a place that's easy to get to. This is my pantry. As you can see, everything's on low levels and just in arranged in ways that make it a little bit easier for me to access. And I have lots of turnstiles to make it easier to reach things so I don't have to try to reach around things. And then I also have a lot of bins that I can pull out if it's hard for me to reach things that are further towards the back. So I just can pull things out pretty easily. All of my glassware and cookbooks and serving dishes are on this shelf here. And it just makes it easier to be able to just grab things pretty easily. So I'm gonna actually grab this and we'll put our dinner in this for tonight. So let's go ahead and get cooking. I'm just gonna make a really simple meal. I'm just gonna make some pasta with red sauce and just kind of show you how I maneuver around and do everything that I need to do. sideways next to my sink so that I'm a little bit closer so that it's not quite so far to reach. If I were to come directly head on to the sink, I'd be a little bit further away like this and it'd be a little bit harder to reach out and turn on the sink. So if I turn sideways like this, it's a little bit easier. So thankfully the pots that I have have pretty long handles and it makes it easy to carry them. So what I will do is just set it on my knee like this and then I'll just actually use the counter to pull myself over to the stove. Thank <laughs> you. 
while the pasta is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get the strainer set up in the sink so it's ready to go when the pasta is done. I love this strainer because it sets right on the sink like this. This is nice and sturdy on here. It's not gonna go anywhere while I'm pouring in the pasta to drain. One of the hardest parts of cooking on the stove and especially with pasta is how to get the really hot boiling water over to the sink to drain the pasta. So what I do is first get a hot pad holder and I hold the pot in one hand as far away from my body as I can and then again I just pull myself along the counter with my other hand so I'm got this in this hand and I pull myself along with this hand over to the sink that I found to work best for me but you definitely have to find what works best for you because it's definitely a nerve-wracking thing to try to figure out how to do so make sure someone's around to help you and just see what works best I know some people will scoot the pot along the counter to the sink if their sink is nearby there's a couple different ways to do it so find what works best for you One of my favorite things about cooking is plating things. I love to make things look beautiful. It's probably the artist in me. I just like to make things look pretty. And especially with food, I just think food should be an experience and something that you enjoy. So I usually take a while to just make sure that everything looks really nice. If you're anything like me, no pasta dish is complete without cheese. kitchen. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. You can put them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.